everyone, welcome to card number five. So starting off, I use my Prima stencil and I just used some of this paste. I got this a few years ago at the Scrapbook Expo and I just make sure that I tape that stencil down in place so that way it doesn't move while I'm putting the paste on. I use a spatula. I bought this set from CC Designs. If it's still available in the store, I'll link it down below. I just put the paste everywhere and then I take the stencil off and as you see, it's a beautiful result. I used the paper stack from last year, Midnight Magic. I just cut out a section of this piece that I like. I'm also using this other artistic outpour stamp called Gothic 31. So I take the cameo and I stamp it using Distress Ink. I tried this for the first time and I would say from other people I've heard that it works great, but I wouldn't recommend ever doing this again unless it's the embossing one. And for my embossing, I use the Stampin' Up! Black. And I do this twice, and then you'll see I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my heat tool and just emboss these on camera. Using my Tim Holtz scissors, I just cut out the center piece of the camera. I take some washi tape and put it on the back of my hand just to pick up some oil, so that way it doesn't tear the paper when I go to pull it off. I cut out several different layers using my Tim Holtz ornate die and then I use this swirl die from Spellbinders and I'm just going to layer them all on top of each other. I raise just the center up on foam dots. I go around inking all the edges with my Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Black Set. As you can see, I'm using heavy adhesive. That's because this glitter paper doesn't hold very well. I actually went back in later and put glossy accents on it just to give it that firm hold. Next, because there is no back piece to this ornate frame, I'm just gluing in a piece so I have more security when I go to tape in my main piece. to really sparkle so using my stickles and silver I just go around the outside of the cameo frame and then I take my glossy accents and I just fill that all in just to give that shine and make it look like a real cameo. I felt the need just a little bit more shimmer so I add some more of that silver just making little dots on the outside of the cameo frame and now I'm taking a black marker and I'm outlining the outside of this ornate frame and then I'm going to fill it in with a Copic marker. Um, I believe it's V28 and then I'm going to tape in the center and glue it and then take my scissors and just cut a little bit outside the lines. Taking the black soot, I just go along the outside of the card just to give it more dimension and depth. I'm using the small roses from the Gothic 31 stamp set that I used the cameo from. I'm making this purple cardstock up with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and going in with two different Copic covers just to give it some shading. because I go in with my scissors and I cut out three different layers of this flower. Just to give them to pop more, I use my foam adhesive and I just put it on layering each one at a time. some shimmer I come in using my Wink of Stella in clear black and purple and I just do some shading the black I use for the leaves and then the purple and the clear I use for the actual rose itself here's a closer look at it 
Next, I take my fancy tags and some VersaFine and using two different stamps, one from the Gothic 31 and the other one from Scooped Out, I believe. Um, I just go ahead and use that as my center and make sure that I have them nice and even on that one part. Now, I'm going to start assembling my card. So I just glue my front down. And now I'm just gonna adhere this. I already put the foam dots on it so that way it's not taking too much time. And I just use my mat to line it up nice and perfect. Off camera, I had applied some glossy accents to the roses. I used my glue gun just to make sure that they're nice and secure on the card. I take this glue gun and I make a line. I'm using my grid to help me keep it straight. I'm going to use this ribbon that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's from the Paper Studios. It was the lace and then it has the blink already in the center. Made it so much easier because I love bling. So um, I do both sides just making sure that they're even. I just use my card as my guide to cut and make a perfect line. I had embossed the spell binders off camera. Next, I take my Tim Holtz Distress Ink and I go along all the edges so it shows more of the detail. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the front of the card. I stay in the same theme of using this template to do the inside of my card. I just tape it down and I'm using the Distress Ink. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing this. It took forever and then I ended up having to switch to a finger dauber. I again use the Tim Holtz Distress Ink just to do the outside of the frame. I thought I had pressed record on my camera for the assembly for the inside of the card, but um, I didn't. So basically that completes my card for today. I hope you like. Thanks for watching everyone. See you in the next card. Bye.